We got out here at first light, but you guys would never know it. We had to wait for that sun to get up for these fish to turn on, and there's something magical that happens with smallmouth bass at first light. We are chasing shallow water smallmouth with power fishing techniques, start of the fall transition, fish are biting. Let's get back to it. I'll catch you guys here on my chest. Let's go. Fish literally laid out like was so long, covered the top of that gold net. No, it's not. It's so funny. Summer one. See how fat they are already, though. They're built right. This is like the size with the double. Fat number one. It's like a two pounder. See that sun is gonna get up just a little bit. Fish number one on that little square blue. You know, we're not always a professional out here. Just in case you guys didn't know that by the channel. On that little square bill again. <laughs> Same color, jailbreak color, but we got out here very first thing this morning. And uh, look at that. Dirty dirds. Tubing it up. Well, it's a bass. Or it's a drum. But regardless of what it is, I'll net it for you. It's a drum. Don't dump. Yeah, drum. <laughs> Drum City, bud. There's one. That's big. <laughs> just go Thank you, sir. That sun coming up just a little enough. Just enough. Number two, really nice stocky fish. These fish are already starting to feed up for fall. They're putting that belly on. And there's a bunch of bait around here and the bite window is starting. Let's get back and catch some more. Hi, bud. The water or the bottom? Water is dirty. Dirty? Yeah. See how they go nuts? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, don't do that. I also want to get a Rapala magnetic tool holder to mount right there. Because while it's nice to have a tool holder up here, I never do anything up front. Just really quick, this is what I'm doing with the perspective mode, is I'm using it, and I really like the amber color for perspective, to look out 100 feet to each side, 100 foot is my range, and then I'm using it to stay on these rock ledges, and you can start to see the sand patches and the scattered boulders. So I've gotten a lot of questions about how I use perspective. Um, I'm no expert by any means, but the way I'd like to use it is to stay on the edges of pieces of cover and find that isolated stuff that you might miss with traditional live scope. So that's my setup and uh, what I do with it. Perfect. No, because that's... 
Uh oh. You get all tangled up. Yep. Here you go. Oh, it's still off. It's still off. Yeah? It's a different one. It's a smaller one. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's a lot here. There's a lot here. crankbait from yesterday no way dude, dude this is one of the doubles i hooked no way that's dude that's my crankbait from yesterday <laughs> that, dude. that's so silly <laughs> that's crazy oh my god that's literally the cr this was one of the doubles that's a big one that's a big fish Oh, he got that. That's a dual realis lipless. I switched to this just so I could cast it a little bit better because I think getting distance on the bait is really, really important. Wow, that's wild. Dude, that is crazy. That fish had my crankbait from yesterday. Lloyd, that's one less crankbait I'm ordering tomorrow. That's no, wait, I'm weighing it with a crankbait because yeah, technically that was part of his body. It's, I think it's five. That's a, that's a long thing. 460. 460. Okay. Beauty. We said four and a half birds. <sighs> that's beautiful. That fish had my crankbait from yesterday. What are the odds of that happening? Thank you, buddy. Like, literally, what are the odds of that happening? Like, zero. A statistical impossibility. That fish ate it so much harder than he ate my square bill just so you know it's dirty 30 fall oh no god, god butter fingers they're so yeah wow. no you're just butter fingers dude you're used to handling two and a half pound largemouth yeah okay how many big are you? where's your fish that's a good one <laughs> that's a nice one <laughs> That is fun, dude. They're not giants, but they're good ones. They're they, nice the enough they ones. Bite, they bite. <laughs> throw a lipless, throw a square bill, throw a tube. Well, it's just like we were talking about this morning. Like This is come, about fun fishing. When you come out this time of year, it's about catching them on the fun stuff. That's right. Bite windows are a real thing, especially in the fall. You know? First thing in the morning, last thing in the end of the day, and I believe it's once in the middle of the day. So we had gone a little period without catching some fish, and I think my camera had shut off for pretty much the entire duration of the last five minutes of pandemonium. The dirt's heard something off to our left. We had crossed over to the windblown side of this reef. <laughs> <laughs> and we refound the school of fish. The point I'm trying to get to is when you find one this time of year, be sure to make more casts there because more than likely there's multiple fish. Be careful, buddy. You almost got a tube to the face. I gotta throw that little trap back through there. school for us please okay ah! <laughs> 
There's like the real reason I wish that they were bigger was so you didn't try to boat flip them with a crankbait. You off. gotta turn the motor off. Yeah, it's too loud now. That's gonna be the end of the day. Short day, basically a weeknighter, but man, it was a lot of fun today. Dirts? Got to poke a couple with my best buddy. I told Ben this morning when I pulled up to the house, I said, dude, I am so tired. This is the third day in a row that I've been up before five o'clock to go fishing, but we're gonna go poke some smallmouth with my best friend, so I can't miss it. Also, this dude's now the classic champ and the AOI. Well, team of the year, it wasn't just me. Yeah. John too. John, John caught a lot of those fish this year in that angler's choice, but yeah, top bass, two day champ, and then uh, yesterday we wrapped up AOI and angler's choice for the central division, so that's why you haven't seen me in these videos. I've been busy fishing tournaments and hating my life. <laughs> he catches them, straight catches them. A lot, of, a lot of small green fish, but he still catches them. That's going to be the end of the video. So much fun today, short day, cranking, lipless, tubing. And a tube. Tubing. You take dirt smallmouth fish, he's got to throw a tube. <laughs> Almost had a near fatal accident. Yeah, yeah, you got bean. That's what, see, that's why you can't. <laughs> you got to go back to single hook baits and like stuff that they give the little kids, Ben, because you scare me with trouble hooks. <laughs>